Hey guys, motion security camera with a Raspberry Pi. Is that really possible? That is the question I asked on the Raspberry Pi forum. And some guy got back to me saying, yeah, I should check out Motion Pi or Motion iOS. And it does software motion detection. But um, for nighttime, it will not work. You will need like a PIR sensor, which I have actually, but I find it really notoriously difficult to calibrate it so that it actually picks up the right sort of motions instead of like, I don't know, the wind blowing or something like that. So yeah, I, I looked at um, the both options and I found Motion iOS to be the more healthy looking one. And I put it on the Raspberry Pi and, um, oh dear, what's going on here? And it works, as you can see, kind of. It's a bit slow. It's very slow. There's my face. Hi there. So, um, I was quite impressed that it actually works. This is actually the Sony V2 camera. Um, and, yeah, uh, what, what else is there to say about it? Well, the... The uh, UI is surprisingly good. Um, I wish it order order um, updated. Um, I did I did find that when it ran out of disk space, uh, things got gnarly. Like it started saving um, files, but to zero bytes. So I um, was a little bit disappointed that it couldn't sort of delete the old stuff while putting on new stuff type a feature, and. The videos itself, there are AVIs instead of MP4s. I wish it could convert it to MP4 so it could be played back easier on my browser. And I wish the still images could uh, be encoded in WebP and they're like a fraction of the size. Um, other than that, um, I was quite impressed. And it all comes down to this motion binary. Uh, I did email the author also and he was responsive so that's like plus 10 points there's even a docker image but he hasn't tried it and you, there's even installation installation instructions to install it on the um uh, on on arch Linux. so i sh in there just to see what's going on and as you can see i grabbed around for motion and then this motion dash mml binary is doing all the motion detection um and i think I think it seems to be quite heavy weight. I mean, I don't know. It's. I'm a bit worried that if I'm running this, it's gonna. Well, it's taking looking looking like it's taking at least 25 percent of the CPU off the bat here. But otherwise, um, yeah. Um, the thing that's running through my mind is, can this perhaps be used in my own product, Web Converger Pi? So maybe like count people who are walking by because advertisers love that. I don't want to non. Um, I don't want to like capture people's faces or something, but I just want to simply detect motion um, somehow in the shape of a human being. Uh, I yeah. So um, so I'm I'm pr I'm planning to get this running on my Raspberry uh, on my on my Arch Linux arm. I'm just gonna have a go at, at doing that. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's all I wanted to say about it. Um, yeah, I, I also I also tried the white balance function. Oh, where's that? But that didn't really work at all. I was also surprised that you can set your you can set your date over HTTP. I need to actually look how he did that. See, this is the glorious motion binary. Uh, I didn't like all these. I didn't like all these. Uh, Oh yeah, here's the automatic brightness. This is when it gets terrible. Look at this. Uh, is it gonna happen automa automatically? Oh no, every time this is open, it doesn't want to apply my configuration change. Um, oh, and the frame rate for the videos is pretty bad. So, yeah, I mean, how much is this whole thing? Um, I think it's at least a hundred dollars, and I'm thinking a, F a Foscam is at least a, is is a hundred dollars too, and it's a much neater package. Like, just the the case alone with this is a bit of a 
you know, just to get the camera mount there, I mean, with the case, it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain, and obviously it doesn't have such a nice wide angle, and it obviously doesn't have the PIR that the Fozcam has. So, yeah. Uh, uh, this is a bit of a weird solution that I can't quite recommend because the Fozcam is better, but the big problem with Fozcam is that... It, configuring it is just a nightmare and it's doing all sorts of weird things all the time you never know what the software is going to do so i also appreciate owning the the hardware and owning the software uh completely so that i know exactly what's happening and obviously this if this had things like webp it would save a lot on upload bandwidth which is a huge problem back in uh, my parents place in cornwall so i will hopefully um, cut this all up and make it more sensible and um, I hope you found this useful. I will be, um, I'll be using it. I'll be using it. I'll be, and I'm, I found Motion iOS very inspiring sort of solution to get going. Though I think I'm gonna probably steal its user interface and and learn from it um, more than um, actually. Well, I won't be using its OS. I'll be using Arch and Exam. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up.